Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's tutorial is how to motion track your video inside Vegas Pro 18. So here in Vegas Pro 18, you are no longer motion tracked through Bazier Maths. Instead, they introduced the new dedicated motion tracking panel. All right, so here I have a video clip in my timeline and it's a simple clip. Uh, it's a clip of this little boat here and I want to add a text and have the text motion track onto this boat here. And it doesn't have to be text, it can be a photo, video, or whatever you want to track onto this boat here. All right. And the first thing that you need to do is, of course, to add the motion tracker into this video. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the video effects tab and search for motion tracker and just simply drag and drop it into your video. But I dislike using this method. So what I can do, the quickest way to get into the motion tracker is by clicking this icon here motion tracker and it will just straight away load up the motion tracking panel. If you don't see the button here, you have to add it into your media. So what you can do is just click this hamburger icon, edit the visible button set and make sure motion tracking is on check so that you can see uh, this icon here uh, displayed on your media. Click that and it will load up the tracking panel. All right. So, um, Let's just say you have a bunch of clip in timeline and you are not sure this track, this panel belong to which clip it will display here. So make sure you know that this uh, panel belong for this specific clip. So you know which clip you are actually motion track. So I know uh, this panel here belong for this clip. Obviously, that's only one video in the timeline. All right. So the way you, you know, do stuff or, you know, track your video are pretty much similar with the Bazier mask. Uh, the only difference is, is that it has the own panel. So all you have to do here is just add a region. All right. So this region is where you want to basically place uh, onto your subject or the things that you want to motion track. So let's just say I want to motion track this ship. So I just place my region over here. Probably going to resize it based on the window here so that you can track the window. All right. And of course, you always want to scrub to your video and find the best frame that you can track. So probably this one worked the best and I just shift the region here over here. All right. And then of course, if somehow your subject is moving away or out from the frame, you can enable track outside the region. But if it's not, then uncheck it. And you have three mode of uh, three type of precision uh, to choose from. Of course, we always want the best and accurate tracker. So just select accurate and the mode of the tracker. You have a bunch here. You got location all the way to perspective. So in this case, I want to motion track the ship and just have the text on the ship here. I just going to select rotation and location. And to start off, you can, you know, since our play hit is somewhere in between, you can uh, track both directions. So Vegas will automatically track forward and then backward, or you can just track forward or only backward, or you can track one frame at a time, either forward or backward. But since we are somewhere in between and I already placed my mass region here. Okay. And let's just track both directions and let Vegas motion track the ships. All right, so as you can see, it does not track uh, successfully, even though it says successfully uh, on the panel, because it doesn't track the other half portion here at the back. So if I scrub through my play head, you can see it does track the frontal part, not the back one. So from this green line, I know this, the front part is tracked, only the back part. If you click somewhere here in the green line, it actually sync with the play head in the timeline. So I'm gonna click somewhere in the end here where it doesn't track. And what I can do is just track one frame at a time at the back, see if it track very well. And I think it does track. So I'm just going to track backward and let Vegas complete the entire tracking. And yeah, we are done tracking for the, the uh, region one here. And you can add another region. This is our second point. And this time I'm going to track the mountain over here. Okay. Maybe I'm going to adjust the, the shape of the region somewhere like this. And this time I'm going to select perspective. All right. And just since our play hit in the beginning, I'm going to track forward and let Vegas track the, um, mounted over here. All right. So it's done track and you can see how well it tracked the mountain and you can, you know, go back to region one and see all of the tracking data that you have made will store inside the motion tracking panel here. So we can close it. 
and then now I'm gonna add a text so let's add a video track and let's add a text real quick and I'm gonna name this text motion tracker all right I'm probably gonna resize it like so okay so once you confirm this is how your the things that you want to parent into the to the subject to your track uh, make sure it stay your plate stay where it is and um, of course I'm gonna adjust the length of the media here to, to fit match with the media of my video but in this case the text loop here okay doesn't actually match its loop uh, until uh, five seconds so what I can do is go back to the media generator here and press this button here so that my text match with the length of the event all right so now I know my I want the text to be placed in such a way and make sure your play hits stays go back to your video and make sure you highlight the, the video and click the motion tracker uh, panel here and all you have to do now and I know I'm in the region one this is the region that I want to send it to the text by clicking this button here and just make sure you click and hold and drag it over your text and release it and it prompt you with this two message either you want to add a picture in picture in effects and have the data embedded to the picture in picture or transfer to picture in picture or straight embed it to the text locations so in this case I just gonna straight embed it to the location of the text and if I go back to the text you can see it's already transferred the tracking data over the location of the text now if I play my video the text should motion track to our ships here it tracked very well all right there you go so now let's add another video track and this time I'm gonna add a picture okay a fancy Vegas picture all right and let's go back to our video let's turn on back the tracking panel let's go to the region to the uh, tracker that we have tracked the the mountain do the same thing drag hold and drag over your uh, media area, which in this case this Vegas logo I'm gonna release it it only prompted me with the uh, one message which is add picture and picture and then click that and it will automatically um, adjust the, the picture to the perspective shape of the mass region pretty cool right so you can track tons of stuff uh, here in one panel which is really great all right so now we already know how to motion track our um, our video but uh, how do you motion track a mass okay so in Vegas Pro 17 you are able to motion track the Bezier mass and you can still do it here too in Vegas Pro 18 it's just that the way of doing that is slightly different right so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna temporarily disable this to uh, this text and images here and um, let's go to the video effects tab and search for a Bezier mask I already favorite here and just drag and drop it into our video there we go All right so what I'm gonna do now is uh, let's enable mass effects so we can see the whole preview and let's go to mass one mass one and select curve and i'm gonna trace out this boat here and have it motion track the boat right so i'm gonna be masking this boat real quick and i'll be back all right so i already masked out the boat and the masking i did is pretty much rough Okay, for the sake of the tutorial now uh, of course the better your masking uh, on the subject the more precise the tracker gonna be all right okay let's close uh, our uh, video effects panel here now go back to our motion tracking panel make sure you click the correct video here make sure it's highlighted all right so if you click on the mass region, it'll automatic, ma automatically detect the Bezier mass. Okay, so click the Bezier mass, and now um, there's few things it, it will gray out. Okay, it's okay. So now I'm just gonna change the position to be accurate, and the mode I will select perspective. Okay, 
and um, make sure you do not shift your playhead after you've done the masking and let's start track both directions and Vegas will start tracking the mask that we have made okay and it's done tracking now if I scrub through the the playhead you can see how well it track the ship even though it's super rough okay so now let's close the motion tracking panel okay let me duplicate this video here all right let's go to video on the bottom here let's temporarily disable the bezier mask okay and let's on this two stuff here and now i already have the text motion track to the ship and also motion track the mask uh the mask out of the ship here that i've made and it is super accurate so that's how you motion track inside vegas pro 18 and if, if you have any question related you can leave it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you guys so see you guys next time on my next video